What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. What day is today, Brady? Uh, Monday, or as you like to call it, Sunday, and it's the end of Vancouver Regionals. Yes. We have the results. First of all, big shout outs to our friends getting big results. Sableye VGC took second. Uh, Neo VGC, friend of the channel, took sixth. Isn't that crazy? We got cool. one two three youtubers in top cut cybertron of course in fourth so yeah mm. uh we're gonna just talk about the results of this tournament uh just some cool stuff that we see in top cut because it feels like every tournament there's just like cooler stuff in top cut uh yeah. and just give our thoughts on it but yeah uh before we get into that if you guys enjoyed this video on the point in time do me a favor leave a like in the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because i bring you daily competitive pokemon content that's my comment question of the day what do you want to win the next regional just like you know pipe dream stuff <laughs> Also, be sure to check out the uh, Patreon and YouTube member program and Twitch subscriber program uh, to get a free video. Or not free video, an extra video at the top of each week. This week, I actually taught my buddy Josh how to play Pokemon. So that was a, that was a fun Ooh. one. So yeah. Awesome. All right. First place. Abdullah. First place. That's a little again. That's a little again. Dude. Now, if, if, if you've been around since uh, 2017, you know what this guy does. Yes. Ooh. So Lilicole was one of the most iconic duos in VGC 2017, because 2017 is when they actually finally buffed Torkoal to give it drought. Uh, and yeah. by combining it with After You Lilligant, uh, you're able to just hit eruptions. And you can see it's Terrifier Torkoal. That's exactly what it does. I think that this is just good because if my math isn't wrong, Lilligant should outspeed Booster Energy um, Bundle. Am I right on that? Uh, yes, because Lilligan is... What was... What's Lilligan's base? It's like 110, right? Yeah, let me see. Hold on. So Lilligan is... 90. Okay. Oh, 90. it's special attack is 110. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. that should definitely out. Um, because Bundle hits... What does it hit, actually? I forget. I always forget it, the actual it, number. I know it's a stupid number, though. All right, here. Uh, bundle is 206, so times 1.5, that's 309. Uh, and yeah, this is 156, so it hits 3, uh, 312. Yeah, yeah Lilligan so outspeeds good. Iron Bundle. Um, what am I saying? I, I watched the turn. Yeah, I know it outspeeds. I'm yeah. stupid. All right. <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah, so that just means that, all right, you're Lilligan outspeeding Iron Bundle. Yeah, you can one-shot it. But you know what else one-shots it? Because almost no Iron Bundle runs Sash nowadays. Look at it. Yeah. No Iron Bundle. They're all, they're all booster energy. Your Torkoal is outspeeding Iron Bundle, and there is no bundle that takes an eruption from Torkoal. Yeah. That thing's special um, defense is doo-doo. And your Torkoal in the sun. And Terra Ghost is also really good. Like, no fake out. Uh, if you get, like, trapped by a Gothitelle, you can switch out. Yeah. Um, um, be, beyond that, good. beyond that, just like Sun, having the Torkoal on your team, you know, you give Protosynthesis to two of your Mons. You have Terra Fairy. Yeah, yeah. You know, Protosynthesis, Choice Specs, uh, Moonblast, and you also get an attack boost on your... Actually, wait, I forgot. Does the Scarf make it so it gets a speed boost? No, uh, so was, the yeah. way it works, it, it's based on its stats. It doesn't, like, any modifiers yeah, can yeah. change what it gets boosted. Okay, I always forget. But, um, no, yeah, so that's... You just get, like, attack boosts now. Like, it's it's such a, like, cohesive team. You have Defiant, um, King Gambit next to, like, a Dragonite. Like, nothing's... They want to intimidate Dragonite because they know it's multi-skill because of open team sheet. They can't because there's a King Gambit and it's going to hit you with Terra Fire, Terra Blast. Like, eh, dude, this is just such a cool team. It's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, fun. It's just, like, it's it's so strange because for a while we haven't been seeing much, like, Torkoal. Like, we've seen a couple yeah, of Torkoal plays well. it picked up well. in the recent um, tournament before this, but before it, that it was, like, nothing. It seemed like people had, like, completely sort of write it like writ off like Torkoal yeah. in terms of like having it like paradox mons with your Torkoal that was like big at the start but then people sort of like said ah maybe you don't need that because also having a Torkoal on your team boosts other people's paradox guys yeah as well. I'm so, guilty yeah, of that I made a video about Torkoal's I did it with Neil too I mean it, it you're not wrong but also if you can play around it right and like you have all sorts of things to to help you in that in that way yeah, and if you, know, you just you can build make it work. right, just build yeah. the right team. Uh, if you if you play correctly, you can make it work. Yeah, but I mean, it's Torkoal 
plus like cool sun off and stuff like that. I feel like this is gonna be a team that we're gonna see on the ladder a lot. This specific team looks really threatening. <laughs> like I feel like it's gonna be that team that gets splashed for the next week or two. Um, yeah. But yeah. I can uh, I can see like maybe King Gambit gets replaced with like Chi Yu for regulation C. Yeah. Like something like that. Uh, unfortunately, I have to play it like the last um, series two regional, which means oh. I have to like prepare for Torkoal. Like I have to fight the culmination of the format. Uh, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do, let's go to second place. Corviknight, second place. Ryan's team. Same live EGC. See Focus Sash, yeah. Great Tusk, Standard Terra Ground Set. We see Standard Terra Flying um, King Gambit, except this has Low Kick over... Um, was it's usually Iron Head, Assurance, Sucker Punch, Terra Blast, so it's just a defensive Terra. Uh, yeah. So that's interesting. Choice Specs on Fluttermane. And we see that the Tailwind Setter is actually Corviknight over Talonflame. Which makes sense. Yeah. Um, Corviknight's really cool. Defensively, it's like really good into the format. You reflect Intimidates, but the biggest thing is slowing down like Iron Bundle. Yeah, so you you sort of prevent them from trying to click Icy Wind and stuff, and it helps you out as well. Um, yeah. It's also, also like just sort of threatening, dude, like Brave Bird. <laughs> Brave Bird is a lot of damage, and you can set up yourself, like, bulk up Roost. It's, a, it's just pretty good in general, like... And like you're bulkier, so you're sticking around for longer. You you have the tailwind to help support, but also you're sticking around to actually like do stuff as opposed to like Talonflame, who might be just like sitting there and clicking Brave Bird and not doing much damage, or like yeah. trying to like click uh trying to click like Will O Wisp, but also sometimes you just There's so many Terra Fires, it's like you don't get to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um And I mean we see something that's kind of a big adaptation. The last uh, Corviknight to do well was Citrus Berry, and this one's actually Safety Goggles. So you can see that the team just really hates Amoongus. <laughs> just on its face, like, oh, you know, it's a defensive terrifying King Gambit, so it can't hit Amoongus back. Um, mm. Being able to ignore Amoongus and set up in its face and hit whatever its partner is just it makes Corviknight a lot more usable. And also, like, dropping, like, I think the last one also had Body Press or Taunt or something. Putting Roost on it, it's just, like, super useful. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did we actually? Uh, we did see two Talon Flames in top cut. I was like, wait, is Talon Flame falling off? And it kind of is. I don't think it's bad, right? I just think it's like well, not I mean, it's the, dominant anymore. It's like uh, you want to get a Tailwind up. Use a Talon Flame. Um, obviously, people have been using Dragonite a lot more recently. Or like, as we see in the set in the third place team, uh. But uh, <laughs> Roaring Moon, there's other options. Yeah. It isn't it isn't too important to have that priority tailwind as long as like you get the tailwind up. Um but some teams need that priority to like sort of get going. If yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It makes sense. Um so, I do want to talk about this third place team because this is the return of something kind of interesting. Yeah, so in series one, uh if you don't remember, there was a big like reset uh, not resurgence, but like big usage in uh taurus and specifically back caliber on the same team and this team uh uses that as well you've got the icicle crash and glaive rush ice ice shot and protect on the back caliber and then you've got the mirror uh taurus which is ooh. yeah and i mean we love it's, that it's specifically <laughs> good into like don dozo because you can like terra grass and willowis um yeah but also it's like just good into like everything because if we take a look um there isn't a lot of annihilate anymore but when there is an annihilate you give it plus one attack but you get plus two but what is like everywhere is like king gambit we see king gambit got first gambit. it got second like the the resurgence of like terra flying or like terra fire king gambit makes this uh specific toro set much more viable yeah and you'll also see if it there are uh two other donders are in uh in top eight as well yeah. on, um on neil and uh zach's uh teams as well so it definitely it definitely is a good oh no hold on uh it was neil and zach right yeah it is. yeah 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 um so yeah no the, the mirror uh, mirror hub um car is definitely definitely a good play a good call in general like in in any format where a defiant guy or a um or, or don dozo are good i think we're just gonna see a lot of uh, not a lot but like people want to be able to use taurus with a mirror hub and it's yeah it just feels it feels like a classic even though we only really saw it do one thing at one tournament ever <laughs> yeah uh, but uh yeah no it's cool um 
we see on the same team as Sandy Shocks with uh, Terra Fairy Terra Blast, which is kind of cool. Yeah, um, this is also something that did well at the beginning of the format, then fell off. It was an unofficial tournament. We saw Sandy Shocks um, actually not win, but like get like second or like fourth or something with Terra Fairy Terra Blast. And I mean, defensively, it makes sense. Sandy Shocks wants to be able to take great Tusk hits, and it's not that frail. So being able to like run like a bulky assault vest set become terra fairy and like a one shot great tusk is just really good also yeah. stuff like roaring moon exists and anything that can't hit with terra blast it can hit with its other stabs you know thunderbolt and earth power are just both very consistent in the format so yeah you know, you know normal stuff aaron zhang here ran probably the most standard team that we see in top cut right now um just it's like talon flame flutter main great tusk hyper offense with a bax on it yeah, I I actually really like the usage of Bax Caliber recently. I don't I don't know. It's like it's weird because it's like oh that's a Pokemon that got used like last format or not a last well in Siri. Oh no, it was last format technically. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just I don't know. I like it. I like it because it's like a weird. It's weird just to see it in general. I don't know. It's weird um, to see that like Terra Poison has become the Terra type of choice for tournament winning teams. Like, yeah yeah like i don't know it's it's defensively it makes sense for like backs it just doesn't want to get hit by like um well, I mean, fighting, fighting a fairy like it makes sense for the most part just because that's like what people uh like that's what's threatening it the most you know yeah all right but uh just taking a look at the rest of top cut real quick uh you know obviously shout out neil ran a pretty standard just like uh offense plus like dondozo in the back uh that being said Gamora. Gamora and Dondozo is not unheard of, uh, but yeah. just this this team, it feels like just like Dondozo plus good stuff. Yeah. It's, it's very nice. Um, just want to say shout out like, Neil again. Shout out Neil. Yeah. Zach here. <laughs> Zach here, though. Yeah. Uh, yet another Dondozo team with a uh, Glamour on it, but we've got a Sarah Ledge there with, uh, which is an AB set, which is interesting. Terra Grass. Uh, Terra Cross, Terra Blast, Shadow Sneak, Clear Smog, Clear Smog. That's kind of cool tech. I mean, like, if you're running AV, your last move is, like, whatever. You, you, you can run Shadow Club, you're not going to get much out of that, and, like, you're not going to run, like, Swords Dance or Protect or anything. So Clear Smog means that you can just deal with Dondozos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Terra, Terra Cross, just, yeah. It, what's the Dondozos going to do? Because Dondozos are, like, what are they running at the moment? They're not, like, they're not running like wave crash right they're running like order up earthquake sub protect right it depends like it's, they're running it's either wave crash or order up it's like one or the other like and then mm. you always run earthquake and then like filler moves either protect and substitute or like protect and a third thing you know mm. so yeah yeah, yeah it, it feels weird you know um but it makes sense you know then you can defensively turn into a grass type you don't care about earthquake damage uh, you're bulky, like, Sarah Ledge looks like it's not that bulky, but it actually is. 75 HP, 80 defense is good enough. With the Assault Vest, yeah. you're living basically everything on the special side. Uh, you take on Iron Bundle pretty well, too, with Terra Grass, because they have to they have to uh, do that 50-50, right, if they want to, like, call the Terra or not. Um, and yeah. also, just being a Grass type with Flash Fire means that you're, you're not only burn immune, but also you're immune to, like, Flare Blitz from Arcanine. So... Yeah, I think the only thing that, like, the trade-off is Arcanine's a little bit better into this Sarah Ledge than it would be, like, the Clear Amulet bulk up set that we saw a little bit. Hmm. Like, it, and even with the Iron Bundle thing that you were saying, um, because you're AV, I don't think you're taking, like, I don't think you die to a free dry, right? No, you don't. Yeah, so... You have Bitter Blade to recover that health and then, like, Shadow Sneak. I think Bitter Blade plus, like, Shadow Sneak probably does it. If not, just Terra Blast him. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, the it's an, big it's thing, very though, interesting. The big thing, though, Hasho Berry on Glamora. That is feels that... very specifically targeted towards Palafin and, like, Iron Bundle. Is that... Is that that's the water one, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it makes sense. Hmm. Glamora doesn't want to, like, just do one hit and, like, and get, like, knocked out, which is why you tend to see, like, Assault Vest sets um, or even occasionally Focus Sash, but yeah, yeah. If, if they don't do that, they run like Choice Specs, and they just accept that they're gonna go down after they take a KO, but yeah, this is cool. It's like an alternative. It lets you run Spiky Shield and live Water Hits. It's like the best of both worlds with the Assault Vest thing. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're play going up against Palafin, 
Yeah, you, you just live. live. And, then, and then you get then you get both your spikes up, which is pretty good. Like That's depending huge. on what they end up going for, which is pretty huge. Yeah, um, I like that. And what was the Terra? Was it grass? Uh, Terra dark. Okay. Dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean that makes sense then, because you would usually run Terra grass to live, so it just lets you do that. All right. Um. I mean, nothing else like super interesting in top cut here. We can take a look at the pace to see if there's anything like of note. That's a little bit weird. Uh, it just seems like standard uh, stuff, Azure like standard rain, except well. yeah. uh, I mean, like a zoom roll over like Palafin is like not unheard of, but it's like, you know, it's cool. It's a cool thing. Uh, last one here is like a pretty, pretty standard hyper offense. Like, yeah, this this looks like just like a team that we saw a lot in like um, previous series two tournaments. So yeah. yeah. As far as general metagame trends, we did see, this is something to note that I saved until now, there are no Palafin in top 8. Whoa! Yeah. That's crazy, right? Yeah, it's like a That weird being said, switch. it's very overrepresented in day 2. <laughs> yeah, I think people definitely prepared for it a lot, mostly just because it won OCIC, so like, why not, right? Yeah. Um... And, you know, well, I mean, like, there's stuff with, like, Gomora with the Pashu Berry. That's like, okay, how do I, how do I, like, help that matchup? Oh, I'm gonna do this so I get my spikes up and then I can deal with them later. Yeah. Um, one more, wait, is this the exact same team that won? Hold on. Did John, did they build together? Hold up. Yeah, it's the exact same team. I think they built together. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, one more thing I want to look at. Zach here ran a belly bolt. I just want to look at it. I have, I, I saw it before we started recording, but I want to see it on like live react, live belly bolt reaction. Um, parabolic charge. Huh? What is that? That Next hits to, everything. Uh, guess... It's it's like a giant uh giga drain all around here. I guess it's more yeah, mega yeah, drain because yeah. it's sixty five base power. It, and it heals 50% of what damage you do. Yeah, I know. Yeah, um, collectively. I yeah. used to sit next, sit next to Goshrodon and do that, right? Yeah, I guess that's probably what, is what that? it's just kind of meant to do. Or Terra Ground on the team? Um, No Terra Ground. I think it's just for, like, you protect or you Gastrodon. Just to get... It's just to make it have, like, a healing move. Yeah. Or that's actually, kind of wait. No, I figured it out. This is cool. What is it? It's Moth. They have Morning Sun on their Moth and Acid Spray and their Terra Grass. They Acid Spray something and then the they would like Parabolic Charge with Belly Bolt. And if it got the Electromorphosis boost, then you have double power on your Parabolic Charge. So it becomes 130. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's then... really cool. I kind of want to steal this team and make a video of it. <laughs> so like, you just keep on healing. You keep on, he you keep on healing with the Moth and then... You heal with the oh that's kind of cool actually yeah like in, into don doza that does really good too because you tear a flying and you like just parabolic charge on them that's kind of funny actually. yeah wait yeah. i want to i want to use that we should we should record that tomorrow um mm. like some variant of that but yeah uh that's that's pretty much it for you know just talking about the results we're just going to want to give our thoughts really interesting top cut uh we see that i would say the goat of the format at the moment is a toss-up between dragonite fluttermane and great tusk for some reason <laughs> It felt mm. like it was the worst. It was one of the worst paradoxes going into like the game, and then like we sort of figured out, oh no, it's not. It's just busted. It's like really good. It has headlong rush. Like the it, the game changer is that like it's a ground type with a really good single target ground move. It's like what what every other guy is running like stomping tantrum if you want single target stuff. Otherwise, you're forced to run earthquake. Yeah. So now you can just like oh. Now I just have like this nuke option uh, mm -hmm. on both of my stabs, and then and even you know, like physical. Even when like Ting Lu comes out, like it's not going to replace it. It's it's a different Pokemon entirely. Yeah, yeah. I think Great Tusk is still going to be great. Uh, yeah. next format. He's going to be but, yeah pretty good. Going to be. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching, everyone. And, you know Brady's link yeah. in the description. I'll be sure to link all of these guys in Top Cut too, so you can go uh, congratulate them. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice one. Bye. Bye.